the learners. Today we shall be discussing post-planting operations. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain post-planting operations, list all the activities under post-planting operations, explain at least four activities of post-planting operations. What are post-planting operations? Post-planting operations are the activities that are carried out on the farm after planting is done. They include thinning, supplying, mulching, manuring or fertilizer application, weeding, staking, and pruning, harvesting. Thinning. What is thinning? Thinning is the removal of weak, extra or diseased seedlings from a stand. It is done two weeks after planting, preferably immediately after rainfall. This is carried out to prevent unnecessary competition of nutrients. Depending on the crop cultivated, there is a specific number of seedlings that are expected to be on a stand. Example for corn, two seedlings or two plants are expected to be on one stand. At the beginning of the planting or sowing, it's expected that the farmer should sow more than two in case if there is a failure of one or two at least there will be a crop on the stand. But if all the planted or sowed seeds germinated, there's a need to reduce the number of seedlings in a stand to prevent unnecessary competition of certain nutrients by the plants. Supplying. Supplying is a replanting of the vacant or ungerminated stands. It is usually done at the same time with thinning. Mulching Mulching is a process by which dead plants' materials like dry grasses, leaves, sawdust are used to cover the soil to prevent evaporation conserve water and prevent weed growth. From the picture here, we have two types of mulching. One was used with straw, the other one, the mulching material, was plastic material. But all of the two have the same purpose, to conserve the soil moisture and to prevent the growth of weeds. Okay. Manuring of fertilizer application. This is a way of maintaining or replacing plant nutrients that are essential for plant growth. There is a need to increase the soil nutrients when cultivating crops. This will enable the crops to have essential and sufficient nutrients for their growth and development. And at the end, a bomba harvest. Weeding. Weeding is a removal of unwanted plants found growing among cultivated crops. Weeding operation is carried out mechanically or by the use of chemicals called herbicides. Pest and disease control. 
The attack of pests and diseases cause reduced yield or even crop failure. Thus, the control of pests and diseases is a vital agronomic practice. Every agronomic enterprise has a target. The target is yield. And anything that will reduce yield should be taken care of most especially when it comes to pests and diseases. Irrigation. Basically, we have two types of irrigation. We have mechanical and those that can be carried out manually. Irrigation is artificial supply of water to farmland. This is done to supplement the water requirement of the crop where there is insufficient rainfall. And sometimes irrigation farming is practiced during the dry season in some part of Nigeria, most especially in the uppermost parts of northern Nigeria. Staking. Staking is a process of pushing into the ground a piece of stick-like bamboo etc. to support a plant. Example of crops that require staking are tomato and yam. Okay. Pruning. Pruning is one of the most important aspects of agronomic practices. It's a removal of disease or dead part of the plant. And this will enable the plant to grow better or properly. Assessment. Number one, what are post planting operations? List five activities of planting operations. Sorry, list five activities of post planting operations. Briefly explain the following staking, mulching, supplying.